Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 13 of my programming with Python 2.5 through 2.7 tutorial. Today, I'm going to cover how to scrape websites, and if you didn't see any of the previous tutorials, definitely check those out, otherwise you will be confused. What I mean by scraping a website is I'm going to jump into an RSS feed. I'm going to grab the title, the link to the original article, and then I'm going to jump to the original article and pull out all of the content from it automatically, and you can see it's quite easy done. You can see there's the program that you will have at the end of this tutorial and hopefully understand and it's pulling all that information right from a website which I'm using the Huffington Post. And there's the code but I'm going to explain it to you. Now first off whenever you're going to do website scraping you of course need to know some information about the website you want to scrape from. So for example if I want to be able to come in here and grab this text from here I'm going to need to figure out what tags surround this text that I want to get. So I'm just going to hit Control C on the beginning of this. I'm going to do View, Page Source, Control F, Paste, and I'm going to look for the location of the article. And after experimenting and looking around here, I finally figure out that the Huffington Post, for example, now this isn't going to be a true of every website, but you can see how easily this is done. The Huffington Post surrounds all of their articles with this div and this specific class defined, okay? So I want to write that down. That's a critical piece of information. And if I'm going to be scraping from the RSS feed, which is the easiest way to do it, I'm going to need some information in regards to where is this link and where are these titles and where is all this information. So I'm just going to go view again, page source. And I'll see by looking in here that they surround all the titles with the title tag right here. So I want to write that down, that's important and the links to the original article lies in this link tag that's right here on screen. So just to make sure you can see title and link. So if I wanna get the title and I wanna get the link to the original story, this is where I am going to get that information. And that's pretty much all you need to know to be able to scrape information from a website. Now I'm gonna jump in here. There's some modules I'm going to need to get. How you are able to pull information from a website is by using this module called URL Open. And I'm going to specifically just get URL Lib. I'm gonna use a new module that you're actually gonna to have to go out there and download called Beautiful Soup. And it makes life very easy in regards to website scraping. Extra imported here. And then I'm going to import my regular expressions module. And if you haven't seen my regular expressions tutorial, I'll provide a link to it on the screen. I'm not going to go through that again with Python 2.7 because I think I did it about as good as I can do with Python 3. And everything's identical, so there's no point in me doing it again. But first, I'm going to define the web page that I want to pull information from. And I'm going to use the Huffington Post RSS feed. So let's jump over here and get it right there. Copy jump back down here into my code and paste it. And like I said, you can do this with any feed. The only thing that's gonna change is the tags that you're gonna be looking for. And then append read onto the end of this, and that's all you need to do. And that's gonna pull all the information from this page and stick it in my variable named web page. Then what I'm gonna do is define the regular expression for title. And all I'm gonna do here is to put title in, and then these rounded off brackets followed by a dot star and then title again. And real quickly, if you don't know what a regular expression is, what I'm doing here is I'm surrounding the information I want being the dot represents any character and star meaning more than one of whatever precedes it. So what I'm saying here is I want to get all the characters, as many as they are, with a star function here and that lie between the tags title and the closing title tag, but I do not want to get the title or the closing title tag. If I wanted to get those, I'd put a bracket around it this way, but I don't want to do that. I want to leave the title tag there because I have no purpose for it. So that's the regular expression for grabbing the title. And I'm going to actually show you how to do this in two different ways. And here I'm going to define the regular expression for grabbing the link back to the original article. I'm going to use single quotes here. And from looking at that information, I was able to figure out that the link starts off with link and then rel and then any characters any number of characters followed by h reference is equal to and then this is what i want to be able to get which is the reference back to the original article and then it has a closing tag at the end okay and if you don't understand this because you don't understand regular expressions so check out that tutorial because it's really cool all right you know here i'm going to store all the titles and links i found in two different lists equal to re dot 
find all, find all function is gonna do just that for me. And what I do is I pass to it the regular expression that I wanna search for and where I wanna search for it, which is in the web page. And I'm just gonna copy this because I only have to change one word and that's gonna be link and link and link. Okay, so what these guys are going to do is it's going to search for these patterns inside of the web page and save them to the list. I'm going to jump down here and I'm just going to define a list iterator and using the range function, I'm going to define that I want to grab both the title and the link starting at the second title and link in the RSS feed and through the 16th. So I'm going to grab the first 16 articles while ignoring the first one, which is always a junk one in this, for instance. In your case, you might this might be one if you want to grab every single article. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out all this information to the screen. And in this instance, I don't have a main file, so I don't need that. And now I can run this, and you can see how it's going to jump out there and get all that information for me just that easily. And I could probably also come in here a new line. And you can see it jumped out there to the Huffington Post and it grabbed all my titles right there. And it also grabbed the link to the original article. So it's pretty useful. However, we can do better. Let's come in here now and let's go grab the entire article. This is the problem that most people have. This is the thing that everybody wants to do and can't figure out how to do. I'm going to show you. Article page because we do have the link to the original article. I'm going to jump out to the original article and get it. This, this line right here is going to grab all the content from the original article, and now I just need to scrub it. Now what I'm going to do here is rem I remember that the article always starts with div class equals entry body text. We covered that in the beginning of this tutorial, so I'm going to search for the index, the beginning location, of that exact thing. So let me jump over here. Come down here again, copy, view, page source. And you can see right here, div class entry body text. I'm just going to come in here and copy that, jump back over into Eclipse, and paste it right there. Okay? So that's what I'm going to be looking for. It's going to return the index location for the web page. And then what I'm going to do is create a new variable called article. And all this code's on my website, freely available. Do whatever you want. Get rich off of it. Don't care <laughs> if you can. And here I'm going to say that I want to copy the first 1,000 characters that lie after this div. So um, is, this is going to kick back the original index for me, and then I'm going to say I want to copy everything up a thousand characters in and assign it to article. And now what I'm going to do is pass all this information to the beautiful soup module. And then you're going to see some neat things here. And how I pass all that over, just like that, and the information that I want it to take a look at. Now I'm going to tell beautiful soup to locate all of the p tags and store them in a list. So paragraph list is equal to soup dot find all. And then you could put in all the bold tags, all the any tags. Anything you put in here, Beautiful Soup is going to find. It's going to search for a tag with that name and it's going to store it in the list. So this could be title, this could be anything you want it to be. Then what I'm going to do is iterate through this and print all the paragraphs out to the screen with a new line in there. And you can see it's doing it. It's going in there and not only, actually, cut this off in the middle, print the new line there. And you can see it's jumping out to the Huffington Post and it's grabbing the title, the link to the original article, which is awesome. And then it's jumping to this page where the original article lies and it's copying all the paragraph tags. It's copying everything from that web page and posting it right here on the screen. There's no reason you couldn't post this anywhere else or dump it into a WordPress database or do anything you could possibly want with it. And there's all kinds of crazy things going on here. But let me show you how cool Beautiful Soup can really be. Beautiful Soup, without I can throw away a lot of this stuff and I can grab the titles and links with Beautiful Soup in all kinds of other different ways. So let's just jump in here and I can delete all this. And let's create Soup2 is equal to Beautiful soup web page and print to dot find all and what this will do is print out the screen all the titles as you can see but it prints it out in a great big giant huge list so I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna show you how quickly you can do what took all that code before title soup is equal to soup to find 
all, and in this circumstance, I'm going to tell it to find all the information that lies between title tags. And here, I'm going to tell it to find all of the links that lie between link tags. And then, real simply, I'm going to iterate through them all. And throw a new run in there. Oops, got to come in here. Hit title. Title suit. Now F5. You can see it jumped over there with that little tiny bit of code and it grabbed all my titles and it grabbed all my links. And you could of course scrub out anything you didn't want here with all the different string tools available to you with Python. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a real quick and easy way to scrub websites for information. Take information from RSS feeds and do pretty much anything else you want to do online with information. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Till next time.